What's good, y'all? And welcome to my movie review for Hostel. So Hostels is read by Scott Cooper and stars Christian Bales, Roseman Pike, Ben Foster, Wes Studi, and Adam Beach, as well as many, many more. So the plot of Hostels is that these group of soldiers, these group of these um, U Union soldiers, have to escort this Native American and his uh, family to Montana uh, because he's pretty much on his last limbs. He's starting to die. So they're like, you know what? He's been in prison for long enough. Let's just, you know... Let take him back to his homeland, essentially. So, now, let's talk about the performances, which I just mentioned. Everybody does a fantastic job of the Like, <sighs> these performances were fucking fantastic. I wouldn't be surprised if this movie ends up getting like a couple of Oscar nights for like best actor and actress uh, next year in the Oscars, because this movie had some great. Christian Bale, fantastic as always. Honestly, that dude's probably like. Him and Denzel Watch are like my top two favorite guys acting right now. Like, and I would definitely say it's definitely one of his best performances. But I would definitely, by the way, guys, if you guys have not seen um, The Prestige, I would definitely say higher when you do because I, that honestly has Christian Bale's best performance in my opinion because he was just so fucking good in The Prestige. So if you haven't seen The Prestige, go watch it. It's a fantastic fucking movie. Anyway. Everyone else does a fantastic job. The Native Americans were also... The people that were playing the Native Americans were also fantastic. And also, I love this movie uh, for nothing because it shows you both sides and how brutal... Like, that the start movie, we see Native Americans being extremely brutal. Like, there's this part uh, where one of the Native Americans actually, you know, grabs one of the dude's heads, uh, grabs one of the dude's hair, and actually cuts off a piece of his scalp, of which actually, I actually kind of recognize that, because if you guys have ever, because you guys maybe have any AC fans watching this video, you guys remember Assassin's Creed 3 was originally going to have Connor, every time he would kill someone, he would, like, you know, rip off a piece of their, uh, like, uh, their scalp as, like, you know, a trophy or something, which they end up cutting that out. I would have, like, seen that, though. Uh, which was nice, and then we see, we saw them being savage to, you know, white people, then we see, you know, or I guess I can say Americans, and then we see Americans being savage to Native Americans, so we see both, so neither, <laughs> neither side is, you know, innocent, they're both guilty of being, you know, uh, very hostile and, you know, being absolute savages and not the good kind of savages. And and also, I gotta say, this move this movie is beautifully shot. Like this movie is just absolutely just gorgeous to look at. Like, wow. I mean, I, I fucking love the movie. Now, in terms of flaws I have with this movie, I had a few. One, the I would definitely say the movie did feel a little slow at points, like, it kind of, it didn't really drag to a crawl, like, you know, say, Exodus, Gods and Kings, which was just fucking boring around in that middle part, seriously, I was like, I was checking my watch so many times in, like, the second act of Exodus, Gods and Kings, where I'm like, just when is this movie gonna fuck again? It felt like it was going on forever! Like, I was like, will this movie end alright? This is so boring! Anyway, so it doesn't slow, but it does slow up because it's essentially just an escort mission. They're just, you know, they walk to a certain point, camp. Walk to a certain point, camp. Action sequence, camp. And that's into the whole movie. And one other thing I have thought was, like, the uh, crew of the Union Store don't really feel like they have been through a lot of shit. Like, there's another movie where it showed, like, I mean, there's a scene where Christian Bale's character and the black dude um, have, where, choke, where Christian Bale's starting to choke up a bit, but, and he's like, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, about their previous video, but I didn't really get that feel like, yeah, these guys were like brothers, these guys were like, you know, you know, close, like, they could depend on each other before that scene. And another thing, this isn't really a flaw, but something that kind of happened to me was actually, you need to be vigilant when you watch, because, look, there was a couple times in the movie where I'm like, did I miss something? Because it's like, because when I watch movies, I'm, of course, giving it my full attention. I'm never, like, really on my phone that much, especially when I'm in the theater. When I'm at a movie theater, I do not look at my phone unless it's just, you know, Shazam a track if I really like a song, or just, you know, turn, turn down the brightness a lot on my phone, or, you know, um, just put it on vibrate. I, I never use my phone, but there was a couple of things where I'm like, did I miss something? So, like, there's not really a flaw of the movie, it's kind of just something wrong with me, because just remember, guys, when you watch it, you gotta be, you gotta give this your full attention, because otherwise, like, I was never really lost, but it was a couple of times where I was like, did I miss something? Anyway, with that all being said, I can definitely say this was a fantastic Western. I, I Christian Bale was great as always. And so my final verdict for 
Apostles is a 9 out of 10. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you do. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you feel like ugh, if you feel like it. Links down in the description box. Yeah. Links down in the description. Ugh, description box below. And as always, come back for more. See you guys next time.